A Calgary school has made it to the top 12 of the Solve for Tomorrow national competition sponsored by Samsung. Students from the STEM Innovation Academy High School have come up with an electric wheelchair controlled by facial muscles. Kevin Fleming shows us more. He's the test driver for the student-led project. Joe Amaldis talked his five FSC robot team friends into entering the Solve for Tomorrow competition. This is the Muse headband and it records your brain waves. It was originally uh, for meditation purposes, but we were able to reverse engineer it and find out a way to take the data ourselves in order to use it to uh, track our actions. The team designed and built a wheelchair for people with limited mobility. It's controlled by muscles in your face. Whenever you raise your eyebrows, it would detect it and then send a signal to the robot for it to go to the place that you're currently looking at. Where they could, they've taken existing technology from their robot projects and modified it. Our wheelchair, what it can do is it can move forward, back, and it can also translate right and left, and it can also rotate. So that's what makes it so much more maneuverable. Roxanne Mung researched wheelchairs and who could benefit from their idea. I think like since we're in this school, this like environment that like encourages and promotes these like values of innovation, we're just like, that's like our main goal here is just to create something that's never been thought of before. Jason Deeprose came up with the idea to use a HoloLens headset for better user control. This headset is usually used in industrial applications. It's used for maintaining buildings, um, but truthfully, I don't understand why it can't be used in the everyday lives of people in need. Samsung has hosted the competition for more than 10 years, but this is the first time entering for the Calgary students. We're encouraging other students and other schools in the area to partake in the 2025-2026 Solve for Tomorrow program, uh, which launches this fall. A great opportunity to do some good in your local community uh, and at the same time build those technical skills and those soft skills uh, that we know are so important. Kevin Fleming, CTV News, Calgary. And the grand prize in the competition is $50,000. The students will find out in the next few weeks if they've won.